number 79, the recall. I've just about recovered from tip 78. <laughs> okay, the, re <laughs> the recall. So, if you're successful on your um, on your first audition, you may get a call from your agent to say they're very interested in you, they loved your audition, and they'd like to see you again. Now, in a commercial audition, the usual situation is to, when you go for your first audition, you just go, it's just you and the casting person. And maybe the casting person has a reader, and there's somebody else flying around in there, or just pottering around, and somebody going through an assistant, a casting director's assistant, going through the different people when they come in, ticking off names, handing them the ID boards, etc. But on the recall, there could be a, a number of people in your audition. And the trick is to understand that who these people are. So in the recall, as we have already talked about, you may have the, some of the production company there, you may have the, well, you probably will have the producer or the director there, that goes without saying. You may have people from the agency, from the advertising agency, from Saatchi and Saatchi, come to have a look and see how the production company is, is how the actors, you know, who is, they, they feel is the right actor. The person that makes a decision at the end of the day is the client, that would be BNZ, for example, if it was the, it was the presenting commercial. So, so there you have these people, it could be any number, and advertising companies, production companies, especially from overseas as well, when they come to cast things here, and when they come to New Zealand to make things, you know, there could be a few of them, there could be 10 to 20 of them actually, um, and that's a really good practice for you to keep your focus that you had in the first audition, um, listen to your direction again, um, you may have the director working with you instead of the casting person, the director may be with them and they may, they may be working with you to see how you take direction um, and try to block out that there's more people in the room. Try to understand when you do the commercial there's going to be a lot. 50 to you know 60 70 people on set um, and this is something you just have to get used to as an actor as how to stay relaxed when you've got you know this lots of people around you all looking at you um, and yeah so with the recall sometimes the sometimes the agency how do I say this can be quite ask you unusual questions or um, they look at you like in a bit of a like, what did the cat drag in way? <laughs> they could look at the casting person like that as well. Um, so it, depending on who your production company and, and your, uh, well your advertising company mainly, their advertising people tend to be, you know, very, very uh, much about getting the job done and they're working with a lot of money and they're working with results. So if, if people are ever short with you or, or seem to just dismiss you, just understand that is a side of the advertising world. That's a side of the commercial world because there's so much money involved, it, it will happen. If, if they look at you, they don't think you're right, then hmm, hmm, next. That's why it's a cutthroat industry, it is. It's a cutthroat industry because of the amount of money and that's also why we want to do commercials because they are lucrative. Um, and so tr just develop that kind of hard nerve not taking anything personally. Thank you.